Yo, what is good guys, back here with another YouTube video, and in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky world called professional wrestling. As you can tell by the title below, this one will be about whether or not going to WWE house shows live events, non-televised events, whatever you would want to call it, is really worth it in 2023. Before I share my thoughts and opinions, would love to know what yours are down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all of that fun, fun stuff and whatnot and let me know when was the last time you went to wwe house show or if you plan on going one relatively soon let me know which one again down in the comments below and just be clear the last house show for wwe i went to was march of 2019 uh kind of deal like a uh, couple of weeks before wrestlemania was at uh rico coliseum uh, whatever they go by nowadays, uh, kind of deal and whatnot, which is where WWE usually goes for uh, their house shows, is Rico. I think it's Coca-Cola Coliseum. I could be wrong about that. Something like that uh, and whatnot. So it's been a couple of years uh, and whatnot. They have held uh, a couple of house shows uh, and one TV in Toronto post pan or quote unquote post pandemic uh kind of deal since the return of live crowds uh but i just haven't went uh because life and whatnot and whenever i go to house shows whether it's toronto or barry uh and whatnot i always maybe not always but more times than not always have a good time at the shows and some way shape or form kind of deal whether it's a certain match or seeing a certain wrestler uh, that i had not seen before in person at least uh kind of deal or whatnot for an example i've said this i think a couple of times whether it was on here or on twitter first wwe house show i went to was back in may of 07 seeing cody rhodes before he debuted went to another one in toronto and when was it i think it was like it was right maybe not right before uh but a little bit before um bray wyatt re-debuted as bray wyatt so it might have been like march 2013 kind of deal again seeing bray wyatt as bray wyatt before he debuted on tv uh kind of deal again in toronto kind of deal legit one of my favorite matches I've seen in person was at the March 2019 house show, two out of three falls tag match uh, in between uh, the Revival, FTR, whatever you would want to know them as, versus Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, uh, kind of deal. And I know that tickets for WWE house shows, or at least in Toronto, um are relatively expensive especially if you would want to cl get close to the ring or the aisle like the entrance ramp kind of deal it can cost a pretty pretty penny and i can understand why people would be turned off by going to house shows or live events or non-tv non-televised uh kind of deal and whatnot i could totally understand that, that because you factor in tickets uh merch if you would want to buy some uh food whether it was before the show or during the show depending on where you are and which live event you go to potential hotel uh kind of deal and all of that stuff it definitely takes a relatively big hit to your wallet kind of deal but for an example whenever wwe has house shows or live events in barry which is in which what like half hour give or take if that south of where i live i always jump on it because cheap seats there are come to like 50 bucks if that and barry molson center uh, uh whatever it's called now uh not a bad seat for 50 bucks uh and whatnot uh but when it comes to like the bigger house shows last weekend was uh roman reigns was in toronto kind of deal i can understand why people would 
want to go kind of deal. I personally skipped out because I just did not want to deal with Toronto uh, kind of deal, especially uh, for a house uh, show and whatnot. But for myself personally, it isn't worth going to in 2023. It all depends on where you're at kind of deal for myself like again if there's one in Barrie I would definitely go to if there's one in Toronto I would probably skip out again that's my personal preference where I live uh, weather night before wasn't necessarily the best uh, kind of deal uh, and whatnot but when it comes to house shows overall especially if you bring relatively young fans like let's say your siblings kind of deal or nieces and nephews or cousins that kind of stuff that are like eight nine ten eleven years old that are really into wwe i don't want to say i would guarantee that they would have a good time but i would rather bring uh somebody that i know that's into wrestling again whether they're an eight-year-old kid or an 88 year old adult to a house show than to a t like a raw or a smackdown or a pay-per-view well most pay-per-views because it's just more fun for myself like the matches are longer matches are better uh tv just based off my experience always felt kind of awkward kind of deal especially monday night raw pay-per-views the only two i've been to are uh like two of the big four so i can't really judge it on that uh kind of deal and whatnot but for myself personally in 2023 especially if they come within a sh relatively short drive uh for you i would def and assuming that you can afford to go kind of deal because I, I i get it life nowadays is pretty gosh darn expensive uh kind of deal but if you're financially able to go and have a good time i would recommend going again especially if you have uh, a relatively new wwe fan or wrestling fan some of my favorite memories of attending shows are those wwe house shows again whether it was like back in 07 at my very first one or when i was a 25 year old adult back in 2019 kind of deal i there's always something based off my experience, positive to take away from it, uh, kind of deal and whatnot, but either way, that's it for t this video, hope you guys, uh, let me know your thoughts on, uh, attending WWE house shows, live events, non-televised events, whatever terminology you would want to use, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, I would, uh, really appreciate you hitting the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did more importantly hope you guys are doing okay mentally emotionally and physically the world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up i feel like i'm just lying to myself lying to myself yeah Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die I feel like I'm just lying to myself But it's